Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again, and to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself for newcomers. I am born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe in order for hopes that I could be as successful as Stanley was with his creations and such. Sorry if I feel, if I seem out of place. It's just, I made this video because I'm starting to feel stressed out about my two-week time limit that I've set. And I'm just trying to make it fair on your guys' behalf. This, char this video will be me introducing another kaiju character, which is native to a different planet altogether. This character is known as... Foxzilla. So if you guys bear with me, I will introduce this creature to you, and it would be a unique experience knowing about a uh, alien planet that would be brand new to you guys and such. So just bear with me, I'll, I'll read this down for you, and I hope you guys would be able to keep up and such. Foxzilla, number one, the beginning. Created and copyrighted by Levi Corsi Ames, July 24, 2015. To begin the story, we start traveling across the depths of space until we start observing a little-known planet known as Urphalagon, which is populated by a variety of humanoid animal people. We then start examining an apartment building in Hybrid City, the planet's capital, where we observe a young fox girl watching TV. This story is particularly about her. Her name is Fiva Favilla. She has blue eyes, blonde and white fur, and is skilled in fashion design. She is a native supermodel who was diagnosed with anorexia nervosa. After watching TV, she went down to a local pharmacy and got the only pill that could cure her anorexia though we could never truly learn the full truth behind the pill's production. The pill also had a side effect that would change Viva's life forever. That night, Viva took the pill and dozed off in her bed. Meanwhile, Sheriff Horn, a humanoid rhino who is also the chief of police, was handling with a shoplifter until realizing that the ground was starting to shake. He then saw that it was a massive and overweight fox-like creature stomping all over the place and shooting streams of intense flames from its mouth. Oh, for the love of goddess, Sheriff Warren said to himself. It then moved its left foot on top of the runaway shoplifter and started attacking the unwary city. The next morning, Fiva awoke and found that she that there was a big hole in her bedroom. What the blazes was that all about? She asked herself. She then went to the news on her TV and found that last night, a disaster occurred across Hybrid City by some massive abomination. Fiva then stated, Why does that creature look familiar? Oh no, can't believe it. It's me. And from that point, she was worried about what the global news stations named Foxilla. On the next night, Fiva decided to confess to Sheriff Warren on her inadvertent actions. Unfortunately, when the sun went down again, Fiva transformed back into her inner demon and did another rampage across Hybrid City. Eventually, right before Foxilla made her final strike on the Capitol building, she was randomly transported by the Master to, to the Blue Man Clan headquarters at the default Earth, with them not realizing what they transported until her arrival. After the unwitting transport, Foxilla continued her destruction until the sun rose up from the horizon, immediately rendering her back into Fiva. When the Master went to chat with Fiva, she decided to use her advanced tech to alter the points that mutate her into Foxilla. Nowadays, Viva would tr only transform whenever she gets overly stressed, though she could never truly tame her other half. The End 
Well, I hope you guys appreciate the storyline that I've introduced, and I'm just trying to make this satisfactory and as fair of an experience for you guys, and and if you want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's your choice and such. And until next time, I'm Leviathan. Hope you guys have a fine time with whatever comes into play in the long run. Until next time, and transmission.